Hello my YouTube friends. A common question I get asked is how do I capture my phone screen for live streaming phone games in OBS or anything phone in OBS. Well today I'm going to show you how to capture an Android or an iPhone screen and stream it in OBS. And by the way, of course it's totally free. So let's get to it. <laughs> My goal on this channel is to make folks better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second and leave me a comment down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're down there, leave a thumbs up. It really goes a long way to help YouTube push this video to a wider audience. And if you're not subscribed, please do. That goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free, so thanks. Let's walk through the Android setup first. The first thing we're gonna do is install the Let's View app. It's pretty simple, the link is in the description. We'll just click download and save the file. And then all we have to do is go into where our files are downloaded and double click on it. Once we do, we just click install now. And after a few moments, our application will be installed and we're ready to start adding our phones to our screens. Just click open now, it'll bring it right up. And once you're in here, you can go and click this button here and go to settings. Here you can go down and you can set the iPhone resolution right here, 1920 by 1080 or 720 if you like. If you scroll down a little farther here, you're gonna see the Android piece tells you you should do it on the phone. Other than that, the only other thing you can do is scroll down all the way to the bottom where it gives you the audio input and you can set it up to your system sound or your headphones or however you want. Now let's jump into the actual phone and we're going to go here and install the Let's View wireless screen mirroring app. You can find it on your app store. We're going to click download. Once it's on there, we're just going to click open. And there are a couple of naggy things that come up here. This one here, you can just click next on that one. And you're going to be asked about allowing some permissions to view your Wi-Fi and all that stuff and just allow those permissions and you should be fine. And if we go into settings, you can set your Android phone for higher quality. Quality. you can set it for higher priority and we have the cast microphone here you can set that as well and that's the one way to get some microphone audio to your live stream and once you're done with all the settings eventually if you installed it properly on your PC it's gonna see it right here you can see the let's view and Michael is just the name of the machine and if we click on that we can select whether we want phone screen mirroring or computer screen mirroring and obviously we want our phone screen mirroring here so we're gonna select that that and on the computer we'll get a little pop-up here we can click start now and the next thing you know there we go there is our screen from our Android phone showing up right on our computer it looks fantastic today's video is sponsored by Envato place it place it is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel things like art and live streaming and video assets you can create amazing face cams and live streaming overlays really easily. There are hundreds of templates and each face cam and overlay can be modified with different designs, colors, text, and text fonts. The process is super easy and you can even incorporate your own logo or if you're like me, your own Placeit design logo. And you can put it right in your design. This gives you an infinite number of overlays and face cam possibilities for your live streams. And they're so easy to create, you can use a different one every time you live stream if you wanted to. So please, click the link in the description and check out Envato Placeit for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support the channel is a great way to help me keep making awesome content that helps you. So thanks. Now let's get an iPhone connected. Next for the iPhone, we already have our software installed. And so we just flip over to our iPhone and we're going to go in here and we're gonna hit the screen mirroring and you can see there's Let's View Michael. We'll just click on that. And a few moments later, you can see it connects and we see it right there on the screen looking awesome. Our iPhone is now connected. It's that simple. You don't need to install any software on an iPhone. You just need to use the screen mirroring feature. So there you go. 
Easy. Now let's get into the OBS setup. Here we are in OBS. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on sources and we're going to select window capture and we will add our iPhone first. I'm just gonna type iPhone in there and click okay. And I'm gonna drop this down and select the let's view. We'll select the top one since I have both of them loaded in here, Android and iPhone. And the top one is our iPhone. So there we go, that's in there. Now I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to window capture once again. I'm going to just put in Android right here and click OK. And I'm going to drop this down and select the second. Let's view. And there we go. We can just move this around, put it wherever we want on the screen. Now I'm going to add some audio. We're going to go to audio output capture. And here we're going to capture wherever the audio is being sent for our screen captures. So if it's being sent to headphones, we're going to select headphones. If it's being sent to speakers, we're going to select speakers. Now you shouldn't probably be sending your audio from your games to your speakers because if you're using a microphone, all that audio is just gonna feed back into your microphone and create all kinds of audio problems. So you probably wanna be sending it to your headphones and then for audio output capture, you select your headphones and you're going to get your audio on your screen. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a game on here and you can see that we do have audio capture and we're going to go ahead and add the Android one back in here real quick. So there's the iPhone one and now we're just gonna drop this down and we're going to select the Android one there we go now we have them both in here and we can just adjust the size of these windows by dragging the corners if you wanted to remove the let's view from the top of it all you have to do is hold down the alt key and drag that down to crop out the let's view piece at the top and once you do that it will look something like this right here this is both the iphone and the android version playing at the same time and they look absolutely amazing and i wanted to give you a look at what this looks like while i'm physically playing the game so that you can see there is not really any delay to speak of it is transferring the information and data to the screen incredibly quickly your audience wouldn't notice much of a difference at all and as long as you're actually physically playing it on your phone obviously you won't notice a difference either it's pretty awesome the iphone audio works flawlessly the android if you set it up to pick up the microphone is gonna pick up game audio but it's not ideal at all. Let's be honest, if you're streaming mobile games, you're probably playing other music in the background anyways, so it's not a huge issue. I accidentally loaded the iPhone version twice, which cut the resolution in half, and as long as you don't do that, you're gonna get a fantastic image from both the iPhone and the Android phone. This is easy, free, and it works awesome. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you wanna see how to create cool face cams for your live streams free and easy, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.